Hey guys, so this video is going to be uh, more or less a follow-up of one of uh, Joshua Bardwell's latest videos. So maybe you've seen it. Uh, what Joshua tried is whether the Flywoo Hexplorer can actually fly missing a prop or two. Because, I mean, in theory, Hexacopter can lose one or even two props and still fly. Now, Joshua find out that, found out that it doesn't work with beta flight as it is today. It doesn't seem that the code can actually handle missing a prop. So... But there was still one question. Um, Joshua did take off a prop. So does this only apply to, you know, missing a prop or do you get different results when you're actually missing an ESC? Because some people in the comments were also discussing this. So maybe the motor spinning up without a prop does cause all these issues. So what I'm going to try today is to answer that question. And what I did is simply desolder one of the motors. So let's try to get this thing in the air like this. I did also disable the um, runaway takeoff protection so on, so all the parts of the code that are known that might uh, cause an issue here during takeoff. So let's just take this and see if I can actually hover it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try to hover it. As you can see, one of the motors is not spinning. Alright, so something interesting happened. Um, it smells slightly burned and the quad is not arming anymore. Now, I tried this two or three times before taking the video. Um, something seems to have failed here. So, I mean, obviously, it doesn't work with one of the motors disengaged and it seems I have uh, at least damaged the ESC or something. So, um, let's quickly take the quad apart and see what actually went wrong here. All right, so uh, basically good news. What happened didn't have much to do with the testing. So it's just that the power supply of the GoPro got into the props and uh, we had a short circuit here that did uh, fry the flight controller. So didn't have anything to do directly with uh, the testing here. It was just something um, that you should also keep in mind. Be careful with these uh, power connectors for the GoPro. It's something I, I also noticed. If you're not having these connected to a GoPro, they're always like dangling around. And uh, in this case, I just got unlucky and had a short circuit here, but it didn't have anything to do directly with trying to fly this with um, one of the motors that wasn't connected. The ESC still seems to be perfectly fine. Now, but what's the overall conclusion? Well, I would say it still looks like it's not possible to uh, fly a hexacopter with beta flight as it is today uh, with a missing motor or really making use of that redundancy. That's sort of a pity, um, but it's understandable. I mean, Multi-copters with more than four props, anything more than a quadcopter hasn't really been in fashion for a long time. So I guess it's quite clear that, uh, you know, because of that, the beta flight devs probably didn't put any emphasis on um, making use of redundancy on, on such a platform. That's a bit unfortunate, I guess, because I think especially for long range, it would be really interesting to be able to make use of redundancy on, on such a platform. It would be something I would really love to see in future iterations of beta flight to have, um, you know, the code adapt to the number of motors it has at its disposition and to really make use of the extra security that some redundancy here can give you. All right, guys, um, I think that was it. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any further updates on that topic.